uh, back in May 2008, uh, Rennie and I went to Mongolia and um, we were stayed in one particular place, I think it's 40 kilometers from Ulaanbaatar, the capital, um, and it's called Buvait. Um, and it's a place, you have to imagine, um, small mountains, quite steep, um, in a generally fairly barren landscape, but with large forests on the north facing slope. So it's one of these places where the climate on north facing slopes is quite different from on south facing slopes, uh, enough to have a difference between forest on one and, and none on the other. Uh, so it's kind of in the transition zone from steppe to, to tiger forest. Um, and this particular place, we were staying in a in a a, a, a gear camp. Gears are these are these round Mongolian tents, uh, conical shapes. And uh, so we were staying in this camp. And very early in the morning, the place erupted with amazing bird sounds. Um, the first thing I remember hearing was I woke up with a with a horse sitting on the roof of the tent, which turned out to be an Isabelline wheatier. But he was sitting there going, Mee! and there was me lying in bed thinking, uh, where am I? Um, <laughs> so anyway, shortly afterwards, I went out to try and record. I don't think I was, I think I was trying to record a pied wheat here. Uh, but the, the recording very quickly got bombed, literally, by some other birds. So the, the pied wheat here is in there. Was just giving you a couple of calls, but then you you'll you're going to hear a, a hoopoe uh, calling throughout, and hoopoes sound pretty much the same anywhere. I've never noticed any difference between Asiatic hoopoes and Euro and European hoopoes. Anyway, um, and then while you're happily listening to the hoopoe, suddenly, suddenly a bunch of uh, red-billed chuffs tumble off the cliffs. And I mean literally tumble, they, they, they fall down off the cliffs and their wing beats are like drum beats. They, they, they really have these very loud vroom, 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 wing beats, which I think it's, it's, it's no coincidence. It's def, it must be part of their, their signaling, uh, you know, it's part of their communication and you can hear it from quite some distance. Um, and they, they literally sort of fall off the cliffs and tumble around in the sky making these dramatic wing beats, while at the same time giving some calls that in the European context, they sound absolutely nothing like the red billed chuffs that we have in Europe. So I definitely, you know, I've never made work of it, and probably other people have, but it's, it's surely not the same species of red billed chuff that we have here in Europe. It sounds totally different, it sounds much more like a alpine chuff. Anyway, um, so in this recording, hoopoo, uh, tumbling chuffs, and the occasional bit of wheatier in the background. I think it's mostly pied, but there might be a bit of northern wheatier in there as well.